A good way to share comments and reviews with others is to add red line markups to your viewpoints. So using our Tetris challenge model, let's create a couple of viewpoints and add some markups. So on the review command, you can add text, you can draw clouds, you can draw circles and lines, and you can clean them up and you can change color. So if we use an example, let's just check a plant room, we'll zoom in, you can see here some rainwater pipes and it looks like one of those pipes is clashing with the wall. So we're going to create a markup and say that we found a problem. So we'll draw a cloud around the area. So just click with your mouse as you go around. And then as soon as you finish creating a cloud, Navisworks will automatically create a view. So here you can see it's generated a view. We're going to add in some text into the view. So we'll say that there's a rainwater pipe clashing with a wall. And that's pretty obvious what's going on. So it's recommended to rename the viewpoint. So we'll call this 01. Now, when you click on the view, it'll bring it back to that. You'll see your text and your drawings. So you might want to add in an arrow so you can point between the comment and the cloud. Sometimes you make mistakes, you need to erase. Just click on erase and use a window and everything inside the window will get erased. And rather than drawing clouds, sometimes it's quicker to just draw ellipses or circles. So that's a quick way of doing it. Okay, so that's one clash. Uh, you might want to change the color. So if you're creative, you can use different colors. So change the color and then you can draw something else. Um, some people use freehand. So here I'm going to just draw a couple of arrows. And I'm going to say that we want to move that rainwater pipe in this direction. Um, just freehand text in, simple comment, move. Okay, so all of that's gone into our markup. Now you can add a comment to your view and these comments can be searched later. So in this example, we're going to basically put a comment in to the effect that we, who we want to actually take action. So we add a comment by right-clicking. Uh, in this case, we're going to say that the drainage engineer needs to review these models and, and fix this problem. So these are actually searchable comments. So that's our first view created. Um, as you navigate around the model, you'll probably find another issue. Here we've got some pipes clashing with a duct. So we'll create a new viewpoint, call this number two. So again, rainwater pipe versus AC. Um, click on the viewpoint and then add in the red line. So we'll draw a couple of circles. We'll add in a bit of text. Let's uh, just so say it's rainwater pipe and duct. Okay, um, and then we'll obviously save that. So again, we'll add a comment to that. So we right click in the comments window, add a comment. And in this case, we're gonna make the AC engineer responsible for lowering the duct. Okay, so to find the comments, use asterisks before and after keywords, and that will help find the keyword search. And then the find comments box will pop up. You'll need to pull up the bar so you can see the actual search results. You can find comments across viewpoints, tags, and other features. And here it's found two comments with the word pipe. 